I've been surrounded by some of the greatest athletes of all time, and every one of them had their own unique formula for success. I'm Terry Bradshaw. Please join me as I leave the field for the boardroom in search of the best and the brightest people willing to share their viewpoints. From breakthroughs in medical research to the latest in life-saving procedures, new medical advancements are emerging all the time. Join me as we take a closer look. The gluten-free diet is essential for more than 3 million Americans combating celiac disease, a full-blown intestinal reaction to gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, and oats. But it's not just those with celiac disease who are going gluten-free. Some researchers say there's a broader gluten sensitivity epidemic involving hundreds of millions of people worldwide, with celiac disease representing only 1% of the entire gluten-related health problem. Dr. Kenneth Fine is a medical researcher, board certified in internal medicine and gastroenterology. In the year 2000, Dr. Fine converted his academic medical career into a public service enterprise to foster his passions for teaching and helping people, primarily those with intestinal illnesses. After 15 years of medical research, researching intestinal inflammatory disorders and gluten-related disorders, I made a discovery in my research that led me to form Enterolab, which is a public access online clinical laboratory, and a nonprofit intestinal health institute which is a public health educational institute conducting seminars and conferences to raise awareness of these gluten and food sensitive disorders as well as intestinal and overall health. There are many different ways gluten sensitivity affects people or presents clinically. Dr. Fine says most of the affected individuals are unaware that such reactions are from gluten because up until now there had been no sensitive tests capable of diagnosis. The traditional tests used for screening for celiac disease and for gluten sensitivity have been blood tests. The problem with these tests are that they're very insensitive, which means that they're not positive often. The reason why they're not positive often is because you either have to have the disorder a very long period of time or you have to have associated intestinal damage, which most people today don't have. The stool test, which goes inside the intestine to find these antibodies, is not subject to these limitations and is five to seven times more sensitive in finding these disorders so that the stool test has become favorable over blood tests because of its greater sensitivity. Dr. Fine has developed a proprietary breakthrough screening test for gluten sensitivity as well as for many other food sensitivities using stool as the testing substrate. When you get your results back from Enterolab and you come up with a positive result on your gluten sensitivity stool test, what we do recommend is a 100% gluten-free diet. Look at your ingredient labels, especially the processed foods, because a lot of those will contain gluten that you're not even aware of. From revolutionary diagnostic tests to continual education efforts, the work of Dr. Fine and his team brings amazing improvements to many lives. You just take a stool sample, you freeze it, you mail it in, you get the results by email or by mail, whatever you choose, and then you can pay a very, really small amount. It's very inexpensive to have a conversation with him. And he answers your questions, he tells you, and now it's Phyllis Cervano that answers the questions. But in the past, I actually spoke to Dr. Fine personally. So I found out I had the main celiac gene and the antibodies to the gluten. I also had the, the casein. The interesting thing is I started eating some of the replacement gluten-free foods, you know, the rice pastas and that sort of thing even, and I was still having problems. And so I had additional testing done and found the egg and the yeast sensitivity. So Enterolab really helped tremendously. Once I cut those out, in addition, just started feeling very well. And um, again, by the age of 48, I felt better than I had in my entire life. With the earlier intervention allowed by stool testing, as well as greater awareness and education, Dr. Fine says more of the gluten-sensitive population can be diagnosed and treated early, leading to far fewer gluten-related symptoms and diseases. My overall goal is to bring people health, happiness, and hope.